It's Jeff and Wilmer at Budrum, and we're doing an update on this hive of bees we got out of that palm tree. It's been eight days now since we got that hive of bees, and uh, we did an update two days ago. We put it on YouTube, but what happened was we didn't get a thumbnail photo on that one, so I'm going to delete that one and show this video uh, eight days later, and we might get a decent thumbnail photo. I'll give them a bit of smoke, because you never know. So in that eight days, we've had two good days of rain. Let's have a look at the first frame. Now I had some extra frames in there to stabilise it all when I brought it home. So I took those frames out the other day. So this is the frame next to that brood that we wired up see a lot of activity even on the side on the other side you can see bees here producing wax they're hanging off each other now look at that hanging on that bit of wire where the hive tool is see those flakes of wax coming out of its abdomen this is right next to the tip of the hive tool there's a bee hanging there wax flakes oozing out of its abdomen see that yes i can right now you come a bit closer woman now you can see the queen has been busy laying eggs here yes i can see them laying in the in, in the base of the cells yeah. now further across you'll be able to see eggs at the base of those cells. Oh. I can see grubs. I'm going to look at the other side. Uh, there's a possibility because there's new eggs that the queen may be on this frame. The queen must have started laying eggs straight away because in the middle here Mm. There's some sealed brood. Yeah. So she must have got laying on this frame almost the same day that we brought her home. She's been busy, hasn't she? Yep. Yeah. I'll put this one back and let's see if we can find the queen. Yeah, so I'll have a look here. See if we can spot the queen. You can see where they've bridged the gap. Yeah, I cleaned these frames up well, they've joined them together and joined it to the frame, but it's not ideal as a frame of brood, so what I'm going to do is put those above a queen excluder and let the brood hatch out, let the bees fill it up with honey, and then extract the honey out of it, and then cut the wax out, and then rewire it, and... Um, put some fresh foundation on. Now, somebody asked me a question about whether the bees build up or down. So the bees will always start at the top and work their way down. But it was just the way it worked out. I had it uh, resting on the bottom bar when I tied it. spotted the queen. We'll get a good shot of her. Start. The thing fell. There she is. Right. Isn't she a beauty? Beautiful queen. She's a ripper. She's been busy. Yeah, yeah. I'd say she's the best queen I've seen all day. Uh, she's the only queen I've seen all day. <laughs> Have a look at her. Isn't she a beauty? Yes, she is. She is. She really, really is. She's doing a great job. Uh, did we get enough footage of the Queen? I'm still getting more a bit closer. Wow. She's a ripper. You're getting plenty of her. Ah, uh, there's a bee eating away, eating his way out. Uh, she's gone out the other side. 
So we have a bee chewing its way out here. Every now and again the bee will try to assist it. Amazing. Oh, is it nearly out now? Yeah, look at his head. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. We'll close now. Uh, well, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.